continue to investigate the crash. Well, there's new information today on the events resulting in State Representative Kabir Kareem's arrest. We've learned that Kareem allegedly hit one of his daughters three times with a closed fist, but there's still some dispute about exactly what happened Monday night. Our Tommy Lopez joins us now in the studio with more on that. Tommy? Yeah, Andrea, the picture still is not completely clear in this case. We do get some more information, though, from police today. The city of Columbus released these documents. It includes an affidavit. It includes some statements from officers as well. Police charged Kareem with misdemeanor, simple assault, domestic abuse. He turned himself in on Tuesday morning. We first broke the news of his arrest. Kareem's daughter is 18 years old. We're not, we're not releasing her name. Documents say her and her mother told police she'd been out of the house the weekend prior. They said the two of them had an argument when the daughter returned Monday. The daughter then walked out of the house. Kareem followed her in a van before getting out and confronting her. That's when he allegedly struck her. The officer who responded first said he did not see any visible injuries at the time. And there's another layer to this story. Assistant Chief Fred Shelton said Kareem called him, and the two met while he was off duty. He said Kareem told him he did indeed hit his daughter, but Shelton said that in a later phone conversation, Kareem said he never admitted hitting her. There's a court date set for the 43-year-old. That's October 27th. He released a statement Wednesday on the incident, and we have more on that, more on today's developments online at WCBI.com. Andrea. All right, Tommy in our studio with the latest on that story. A new wrongful death suit is being filed against former Columbus police officer Canyon Boykin and other members and former members of the department. Ricky